Here is the mud box. We're going to do it now. If you've not done it, go do it. Then come back to here. Okay, number one. One A. One third divided by six. So I'm taking a third, which it looks like about like that, and a pizza, and I'm cutting it up into six pieces. <laughs> well, something like that. So how many, what fraction is that of the whole thing? One eighteenth. Now if I take six, for B, six, and I divide it up into thirds, it means I'm taking six, and I'm saying, how many thirds are there in this whole thing? Well, there's three in each one, so it's six times three, that's 18. Okay, you got the number one done. All right, you corrected it. Let's do number two. Lindsay's bookcase is five and a third long. Whoa, how much space on the floor? Oh, man, this is hard. They're acting like they gave you three dimensions, which it makes it sound like they want volume. But the question it asks is, how much space on the floor does the bookshelf take up? The floor is just like, the floor space is only area. So all you need, you don't need to how tall this thing is. No one cares about the six and a half you, or six and a twelfth, you don't use it. All you need is, imagine you're looking over the bookshelf, looking down on it, you need to know that it's five and a third long and one and one fourth wide because if you were looking down that's the amount of space that it takes up on the floor the rest is coming out at you 3d so you don't need it okay so we have to do that times that to get the answer that's a pretty hard problem every day math i like that let's make them improper's that's four times one is four one more is five so five fourths times three times five 15 16 thirds. It's going to make kind of a mess, but 16 times 5, pretty sure that's 80. Okay, so then you got 80 twelfths. You can't leave it like that, all right? So it's like, it's like it's like pulling your pants up after you come out of the bathroom. You can't just wander around with your pants half down. Don't do that. So you can't leave it like that. You got to say, how many twelves fit into 80? It's going to be, what, 7 times 12, too big, 84. 6 times 12 is 72. Therefore, 8 of them left over, 8 twelfths. If you wanted to change that to a reduced fraction and make it 8, and yes, you got it, 2 thirds, you could do that as well. So, the final answer should be in square feet, by the way. If you didn't put that unit, go ahead and put that now. It needs to have that unit. Square feet, because it's area. Ooh, I like that one's a tricky one. Ed uses one and one fourth dishes dishes of paint on a project. That's weird. Each dish holds three fifths fluid ounce. How many fluid ounce? So he's got three fifths and one and a fourth of them. So it's one and a fourth times three fifths. Got one, that's a number of ones he had, and each one is th got three fifths. So it's one and a fourth times three fifths. Okay, let's make that improper, which is five fourths times three fifths. That's 15 twentieths. Divide each one by five. That's, he's got three fourths of an ounce. Cool for him, huh? Okay, that's his answer. Three-fourths ounces. Write that unit. Write the unit, people. You got to write the unit. All right, we're moving on to number four. Multiply. 2.3 times 8.4. Doesn't matter if the decimals are lined up. You ignore them now. Four times three is 12. Four times two is eight. One more is nine. Yay, I love math. Eight times three is 24. Carry the two. Eight times two is 16, two more is 18. Two, three, nine, one. All right, I know it's eight times two is 16. That means my decimal's gotta go about there. And let's do the next one, 0 0.47, 56.3. No, I'm putting 56.3 on top. I like that better, because that 0.47, we don't need to leave that zero on there. That's just going to mess with us. Just get rid of that sucker. You don't need it. So, 
it won't change the answer. It doesn't matter that the decimals aren't lined up. I just multiply it to like it's 563 times 47. One equals two. Get that? Did you get that? 14, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2. <sighs> so this is about half. So I need something that's about half of 50. It's about 25. Or I could say 1, 2, 3. Go to here and go 1, 2, 3. Either way works. Okay? Number 5. Reasoning. Writing. How is multiplying decimals similar to multiplying whole numbers? How is it different? Well, it's the same, because all of this stuff is the same. How is it different? Well, it's different, because in the end, you got to figure out where that thing goes. There. Got it? Okay, super. Go do your homelink.